Hello everyone, my name is Kajin Albert Yin, and I'm a PhD candidate from Vadim Gladyshev Lab at Harvard Medical School. And today I'm thrilled to announce our latest web-based platform, CloudBase, and show you how to use it. But before we start it, let me just first give you a quick introduction into Aging Clock and the purpose of our CloudBase project. So the aging clocks are machine learning algorithms based on omics data that can estimate an individual's biological age. This can provide insight into aging process and help identify potential anti-aging interventions. However, although there's a large amount of omics data available in public database like GEO, there was previously no systematic effort to pre-calculate uh, aging clock for all the available data set. And that's where clock base comes in. The clock base is a user-friendly web-based platform that provides pre-calculated biological age measurements for hundreds of thousands of available samples on GEO. And with clock base, researchers can easily explore the biological age of these samples and use this information to discover new anti-aging intervention or the age-accelerating conditions. Let's get started. So here we're at the homepage of the Clockbase website, and you can click the launch app to get into the uh, Clockbase. And here we need a few seconds to initiate the program. Yeah, after that, you can click start. It will lead to you the first page of our uh, website, which is the Clock Atlas. So here is cont contain a uh, interactive three D TSNI plot that shows uh, all the geo sample we process for human. And the color scheme are actually the Horvath's age acceleration, which basically means that if the sample shows to be red, it means that the, their age is uh, the age faster than their uh, than their peers. Basically, they, they bio their biological age is much older than their chronological age, and vice versa. The blue point means that these sample are actually younger than their actual age. You can zoom in or zoom out and can show you how uh, how this uh, the metadata of each sample and you can for example you can see these sample are from the normal column and it's female of age uh, 59 and its delta age is for uh, 4.3 means that the uh, the age of the biological age of the sample is uh, 4.3 years older than its actual age and you can also uh, change it to other clock for example if, if you are interested in the final age which is a second generation clock, that's trained on phenotypic data. And here you can see, um, it's basically it's a similar TSNI plot and you can visualize the uh, the um, delta age based on the phenotypic, pheno, pheno age prediction. And of course, if you, if you don't want to explore the age acceleration, but rather if you want to look at the predicted biological age itself, you can also use this um, uh, 3D UMAP plot. So let's take a few seconds to load in. And once it's load finished, you can see this uh, nice trajectory plot. So similarly, uh, this the sample shows the uh, the basically the estimation from uh, in this example, Horvath's age. So here you can see the most sample, young sample are mostly on the left side of this plot and the uh, old sample are located on the right side. So you can see a very nice trajectory and you can also see uh, what the uh, uh, predict age and uh, what geo data set this sample comes from. So after you have an overview of the uh, database, uh, the first step you need to do is to select uh, which data set you want to analyze. And just to demonstrate here, uh, for example, you want to study whether smoking can accelerate uh, aging. So here you just type in smoking, smoking. And for example, well, the first data set here is the DNA methylation analysis of placenta sample exposed to maternal smoking during pregnancy. So we just choose this data set and we, and we go to next step. And now you can see a uh, metadata table which contains the metadata of this uh, data set we just selected. You can see the basically the column, uh, the sample ID, the uh, the sex of the sample, and the uh, their just uh, gestational age, and whether the this from smoking smoker or non smoker. And you can select click here to select the clock you want to analyze. For example, uh, I just want to look at these three clock, and you will see 
uh, basically uh, the clock measurement from uh, this three clock. And then uh, one thing to know is that uh, if you if you worry about whether the sample uh, contain the, basically whether the CPG side in the clock are missing on the sample. So you can click on this box and it will show how many percentage of the data are missed in uh, how many percentage of, of the CPG side are missed uh, for uh, the given clock in this given sample. So as long as this number is smaller than 0.2, it should be fine. It means that you have uh, at least 80% of the uh, CPG side in the clock are covered in your uh, sample. And let's untick this. And also note that if you don't want to analyze the geo data, you want to up upload your own data, you can also do that by clicking this uh, box and it, it will um, pump up a new UI and you will it will uh, allow you to upload your own data and your own uh, metadata annotation. And let's go back. And once we have the biological available here, you can either just download this uh, table, just to click this button here, or you can use our online uh, visualization tool to do the analyze. So here I'm going to show you how to do it. So just click next step. And the first thing you can do is uh, you can do a correlation analysis. So here it's just a default column. It's just select the first numerical column in the table. It's usually doesn't mean anything, uh, but you can uh, choose the column you want to analyze. For example, if we want to anal analyze the, uh, the correlation between the gestational age and the phenol age measurement. And you can see it will give you a um, cor cor correlation analysis. It shows the Pearson's R and the p-value. And it also, uh, it also uh, fit a, uh, it's a lowest curve to fit, fit a lowest curve to show the uh, trajectory of your data. And beside correlation, you can also look at accuracy, which is, uh, since we don't have H column here, this doesn't make sense to look at actual accuracy of clock. But another, I think the most important analysis here for most of the people is the uh, group comparison. So here you click the group comparison, it will change the UI and you can select what uh, uh, comparison you want to make. For example, here the default is comparing a sex. So you can actually choose here, for example, if you want. So what what important in this experiment, in this data set is the smoking condition. So here let's change the X axis to the smoking condition. And the Y axis is the phenol age. So here you can actually see uh, as this, uh, the, the violin plot showing that the smoker actually, uh, or the placenta from the smoker actually have a higher uh, phenol age, significantly higher phenol age compared to a non-smoker. It means that the smoking may accelerate the biological age of placenta in, the, in, in, in this uh, data set. And here you have a uh, t-test and you have a p-value uh, here. And basically it's ready to give you, uh, to, you can download the image and you, you can like uh, just download the image or just make a screenshot and it's ready to be part of your research paper. And uh, I think it's pretty much it is. And you can also look at some the, our tutorial page and we have it also have a table contain all inform all the clock information we have in our uh, clock base, and you can also <clears throat> check our uh, preprint here. So we have a we already have a preprint paper uh, available online. You can if you want to know how we did this, how we calculate the aging clock, how we collected a geo sample, you can check our preprint. And if you have any further question, feel free to contact us at uh, our email or Vadim's email, or you can also feel free to follow us on Twitter. Uh, we have, you can follow my Twitter or uh, our lab Twitter for GladShift Lab. And thank you so much for your attention and uh, hope you enjoy this tool and make discovery in the agent field. Thank you so much. <laughs>